Creo Elements Direct Modeling 20.5 provides enhanced support for multi-level features in the sheet metal design environment. Users can now create sheet metal features on top of previously created features and have them reflected as expected in the unfolding process, in particular if the details reporting option is set to suppress details. When creating sheet metal features on top of existing previously created form features, the user needs to select a face of the existing feature as the base face. Using this base face information, the unfold process can then recursively recognize higher level features and include their geometric contours in the unfold 2D or create flat view operations. The work plane labeled FLAT-WP shows how multi-level sheet metal features are evaluated during the unfolding processes. The first unfold 2D operation includes details and shows more contours and edges. The second unfold 2D operation shows the enhanced expected output for the reduced level of detail. Also, flat views in a notation are improved for multi-level features. As illustrated in the video, the view shows the expected 2D entities along with the designators of base level and higher level features. To improve post-processing support for customizations reflecting advanced capabilities of modern sheet metal manufacturing machines, the info text attachment to 2D drawing elements in the flat view are enhanced. They include information about the level of the sheet metal feature and can be filtered to only show information for a single feature in case the 2D element represents coincident projections from several features on different levels. This is controlled by the new macro that was run shortly before we created the flat view. In addition, Delete, Modify and Move feature commands operating on multi-level features are supported in the following way. The Delete and Modify commands allow to remove or to modify a feature on level N and remove all features of higher levels greater than N. In this example we delete a punch on the third level, then we change a second level stamp feature to a dimple which keeps the first level embossed shape intact and removes the third level lens. The move command allows to move a feature on level N and includes all features of higher levels greater than N in the move operation. The move needs to be performed within the same base plane. The enhanced support for multi-level sheet metal form features in Cree Elements Direct Modeling 20.5 enhance standard compliance for sheet metal drawings showing multi-level features and improves post-processing support for customizations reflecting advanced capabilities of modern sheet metal manufacturing machines.